Hello, this is Steve Powers. Um, I'm going to do a uh, quick overview of Virtual Dub Mod. It's a tool I've used uh, for quite a few years, and uh, one I have to definitely um, recommend to have on hand. Um, it will. Uh, this is uh, based on Virtual Dub, which has um, been uh, developed by Avery Lee for quite a few years now. Virtual Dub Mod differs from uh, Virtual Dub uh, because it allows you to import. Um, other uh, formats other than AVI. Granted, it will still um, output an AVI format. Um, in most cases, it's uh, for compatibilities uh, issues. It will work on standalone players as well as uh, other programs. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you a few things which I like to use it for. And I'll just use uh, one of my videos as a uh, reference here. And um, now, um, you can do full processing or direct stream processing. Um, when you want to um, add uh, filters, which uh, will allow you to, um, say, rotate or crop, these are all um, AV, uh, these are all script uh, files uh, um, that allow you to do uh, just that. So if I want to say I want to rotate a uh, um, a video, say uh, I want to correct a rotation error or what have you. I'm just minimizing or, or shrinking this because this is a full HD uh, video that I'm using. So I wanted to go um, 30. Uh, I am not hitting the enter key here, I'm hitting the tab key. So you can do this and bring it up to a frame that actually has something on it. Go back to zero. Oops. Tab. And this is the ro difference between rotation and uh, or rotate and rotate two. It allows y you to do uh, uh, incremental as instead of just a 45 or a 90 or a 180. Um, so there's 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 a few other ones. Um, there is uh, you know you you can you can reduce you can change uh, um, contrast or uh, flip you can do it direct flip horizontally or vertical, um, generate grayscale, um, you can do uh, a resize as well, and uh, what have you. But that can only be done on um, wh when you're doing a full uh, processing mode. The other thing um, also allows you to do is um, say you uh, have an issue with um, your audio is out of sync. You go up here to the streams, and if I right-click on it and go to interleaving, um, this will skew the uh, audio, um, make it start earlier or later, uh, so allow you to um, sync um, any uh, errors. Um, this is this is primarily um, for uh, any DVD to AVI conversions where you have a uh, your sync um, gets uh, skewed somehow. Um, and primarily that's what Virtual Dub uh, was built for, was working with AVI files, or in Virtual Dub Mod was to work with DVD files, along, or Matrovsky files, what have you, and converting them to AVIs, and doing quick edits, or what have you. So, um, but it can still be used for, um, like I said, quick uh, edits. In this case, um, if I wanted to do this uh, and change the uh, audio, I could um, just by, uh, like I said, go to interleaving and then changing this. If I wanted to change it <coughs> um, one second, which is a thousand milliseconds, I would do just that. And I could, in this case, would be uh, positive value. Um, the audio was playing too early, and this is a positive value. If you want to do a negative value, it's simple as that. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it's there and they can do that, but there are many, many tutorials out there for specific tasks with Virtual Dub, Virtual Dub Mod. Um, this will also allow me to uh, save the audio um, out of this AVI file, uh, separately in a WAV file, so it's uncompressed as well. Um, if I, oh, by the way, let's go back to that. I can also add another um, WAV file or audio file. You can see uh, because this virtual dub mod it supports quite a few different ones at uh, different formats. So you can do a lot of that. Um, not all AVI um, uh, files are playable if it has uh, dual audio, but um, 
course, on a computer or can. Uh, some standalone players do not support that. But it's something you need to know uh, ahead of time where you're going to be playing these things. Um, now, the other th uh, good thing, too, is when you want to say, I want to edit this. Unfortunately, we'll only do it at keyframes. Um, it will not do it um, at, at frame level. Uh, that's if I have to do any frame level editing. I use uh, usually I use Blender if it's a DVD or what have you. Um, I and I'm or DVR and I want to cut out commercials. I use uh, Authoring Works for because that's what that is built for. Authoring Works for allows you to do uh, menus and things like that as well. But Blender is a um, really it is a, turned into a professional editing tool. But Virtual Dub Mod. I still use. Um, matter of fact, I used it uh, just this morning. So um, it is something uh, that is good to have on hand. So, anyways, back to the editing part. Um, see, I can choose keyframes. So I can. Uh, this will tell me where I can edit. I can mark it. Do a couple more edits. Mark it again. Now, I can do a full processing mode. Okay. So if I go up to save that. Um, as full processing um, without any compression. If I want to add compression, I can do this. It takes a second for it to come up. And then uh, these are all the codecs I have installed on my computer. Um, and that's then you can go in and you grab one and then you go into configure or what have you. Um, but the beauty of Virtual Dub Mod is. Um, other than it will do full HD and beyond uh, the direct stream copy. I can save this. Let's go save it in uh, my production folder. And we'll just hit this as test. And this is probably only a minute or so, so let's hit this. It's done that quickly. Go back in here. That's my test. Uh, Media Info is a, another little add on you want to have in there to allow you to check what we have here. Gives me um, all the properties of the video as well as the, uh, well, and, uh, and the audio as well. Okay. And you can see it's 16.9 and XVID duration. It's just under a minute. So I just did a minute of HD um, video that quickly, and if you go to play it, and hey, guess what? It's going to be. You can hear me a little bit. It's a little quiet, but what have you? Um, and that's that's the beauty of Virtual Dub Mod. Um, that is one of the main things I like to use it for. Is that uh, just a very quick editing? So. Um, I'm not going to get too far into this. Um, you, you have the filters, you have the different streams, and you have the different ways to save. Um, it's a very useful uh, program. It will uh, work on, um, and it's free by the way, so this is freeware. Um, this will uh, work on uh, Windows primarily, but I have gotten it to work um, under Linux uh, using Wine. So. Um, and on a different, few different versions of uh, Linux as well. So it's something you can use um, no matter what your OS is as well. I'm not sure about Mac, but at least Linux and Windows. So uh, hopefully this uh, overview helps, and um, you have a good day.